Hi, I'm Rachel Steam, and this is my cooking show where we are dedicated to helping people with unrealistic food ideologies get the food they shouldn't be allowed to eat. I studied abstract food theory at Seattle Community College for seven years, and last week we did a show on cupcakes for ISIS. It was a little intense, but we're not on any lists or whatever anywhere, so let's get started on the show. This is the carrot of dietary exceptionalism, and he's gonna pair me up with someone's unrealistic dietary restriction. Today I have to make a macrobiotic milkshake. I miss Isis. You're on the macrobiotic diet? Oh, I think it's great. I'm a big believer in being present and centered and really being balanced, but it's not always enough to have like a well-balanced meal. So sometimes you need to take it to the next level. <laughs> and do you get grossed out when you think about yourself? Sometimes. So the macrobiotic diet isn't just a diet. It's a lifestyle. You have to be generous and responsible. You can't have eggs or dairy, but it's also about balance. For example, you have to only eat foods that are grown locally, so I can't use tropical fruit, like a banana. When it's summer, you have to eat cold food, and because it's winter, I have to make this milkshake warm. In other words, it's the most first world champagne tears nonsense diet ever. Okay, so we are ready for our macrobiotic milkshake. I'm gonna use one cup of unsweetened almond milk, and then I'm gonna use half a cup of millet, which is a really fancy grain, and I'm gonna cook it in some cinnamon. And then I'm gonna use amazaki. It's an ancient Japanese beverage. It's made by cooking a fungus into some cooked rice, and it's a really long process. Anyways, it takes about 14 hours to make, so I just straight up bought some. And then I'm gonna use some almond butter and chia seeds. Anyways, you can read about the recipe down below. So I'm gonna throw it over to me at the picnic table, think about abstract notions of unrealistic dietary restrictions, and drink the tea I need to stay regular. Take it away, me. Thanks, me. So I lunch identify as a gluten-free, yellow-free pescatarian who only eats during even-numbered minutes. So I'm all about unrealistic dietary restrictions, but the macrobiotic diet is even out there for me. <laughs> there's a lot of things going on in the macrobiotic diet, which I like, but there's also this weird part of the macrobiotic diet about balance. Not just food, but everything. Everything is either a yin or a yang, like cheese is a yin and dancing is a yang. And that's just crazy because dancing isn't the opposite of cheese. That's stupid. Anyways, you took it too far, macrobiotic diet. And back to me. Thanks, me. So this is the macrobiotic milkshake. And even though I think it's pretty stupid, I respected all living beings while I made this. And I even admitted to some personal faults. You can find the full recipe down below. Thanks for joining us at Cooking for Vegans and Other Horrible People with me, Rachel Stamen. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.